the NDC flag bearer delivering his lecture at the Christian Service University took a swipe at his NPP opponent, Dr. Mahmoud Baumia. Ghanaians are in dire streets, and this is not the time for comedy. This is not the time for concert party about passing a mythical steer to somebody. Many of the people gathered at the public lecture applauded the job, but the Tescon organizer of the NPP at the university was unhappy. Nana Buache allegedly retorted to the statement to the hearing of people seated with him, but an NDC supporter did not take the statement lightly. I also responded, Sir um, Mahama Obwa Na Obere. That was what I said. Then Later on, I saw a metro man who approached me and gave me some warning that be careful, be careful. So I also asked him, what have I done? And then the moment I asked the question, he came directly to me and slapped me in front of um, the former president when he was um, answering some questions that, be, that has been um, asked by some of the students. So a lecturer um, in our, on, on, on our campus asked me to leave where I was sitting and then find a different place to sit. So I left where I was sitting. And then uh, suddenly um, the former um, term president came to me that he has heard that um, the people are chanting that they will kill me, they will do this and that, bad things to me. So it's better I leave the auditorium and then find a good place to hide. So quickly I listened to him and then followed him. So on our way out of the auditorium, when we go to the main entrance of the auditorium, I heard another slap. Bang. So, out of that, I, I, I was unable to see anything or something sort of that. And then I heard, I, I also um, saw uh, one guy also who, who held my hand back and they started beating me, my stomach, my head and stuff. The second year student of communications has his head wrapped in a bandage. A splint also supports his arm. An attempt to rescue him proved futile. I'm feeling very weak. My head is very, very pain in me. And this, uh, my, I cannot lift my hand because I felt um, I have had some fracture here. So I'm waiting for the CCTV scan. Then I'll, I'll, I'll take the next step. I feel unsafe. Very, very unsafe. Because some of them came with their phones and then they took pictures of me threatening that they know where I stay, the car I drive, so they are going to track me. That makes me very, very unsafe. Meanwhile, the NPP in the Ashanti region is appalled by the situation. The victim is yet to file a complaint to the police. For Joy News, Nanaya Ojima, Kumasi.